Hey Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And this time around, this is going to be focusing on your person and what is going on with them, how they're feeling about you, what they're thinking, all of that. It is general, so it might not resonate for all of you. So also keep in mind that the rules can actually be reversed. So it could be that you are a Taurus watching um, for your person, or it could be that your person is a Taurus. All right, let's see. Also, if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And let's get into this Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first couple weeks of November. What is going on? For the situation, we have the Three of Wands crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. No, that's the Wands. The Knight of Wands. All right, okay. So this person is actually waiting. They're waiting for something. There's been some kind of a delay in terms of them taking action. Now, it could be that um, I'm even getting something might have been canceled here in terms of movement in terms of something happening so maybe for some of you this could even be um this person was going to like move locations or maybe even um there were plans to meet and then i feel like you know it may not have come through or there's just some waiting before um taking action now a lot of this is because this person is not feeling very stable at the moment let's see the recent past we have the page of cups and near future we have the seven of wands hmm. okay yeah so it does feel like recently you know there was some warming up there were either feelings were expressed or this person was just um more in touch with their feelings and just more open but it feels like you know like i said something something kind of shifted something made them kind of like put that off or postpone or you know just kind of delay that a little bit and it does feel like there is a little bit of defensiveness coming up but this could even be them um putting up a fight against others we'll see when we clarify so for their consciousness we have the two of swords yeah so there's actually oh gosh okay this person is like i feel like they're questioning again this this delay um like just reconsidering this decision or um, what has happened and they're not really sure what to do about it almost like they're in disagreement with their own self about this let's see subconsciously we have the devil all right capricorn's energy here um yeah there's a fear here there's a fear and i feel like that is related to them feeling this um instability and that's why there's been this delay or some kind of a postponement their current energy towards you, we have the Five of Swords, and for your energy, the King of Wands, their hopes and fears, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this person is really going through some stuff right now. Um, they're, they're deceiving themselves. They're deceiving you and they're deceiving themselves with this Five of Swords. And again, I feel like it kind of goes back to this Devil's energy. This could even be an attachment that, that they have um to some kind of a situation here whatever it is though it i am picking up on fear um and that fear could even be associated with whatever it is that they are attached to for some of them it could be an addiction and you know maybe they had a relapse and so how can they come forward or for others of them you know this could just be um their own just a fear just a fear of this and for that reason delaying and holding back um, or even another another connection that they are attached to whatever it is though like their energy right now whatever it is that they're showing to you and whatever it is that you feel might be going on that's not really what's going on there's a deception here um it's interesting though because you are in this king of wands energy so you're you're feeling pretty strong you're feeling pretty um good about yourself in terms of being able to just overcome whatever this challenge is over here that's happening with this person and i mean this person really has this fear of of this connection with you being over they have a fear of it ending um because they're the ones that you know are indecisive here or don't know how to come forward or whatever the case is or because they cannot remove themselves from this devil's energy let's see let's clarify Let's see the Three of Wands with the Knight of Wands. 
the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Fool. Yeah, they're 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 holding back from taking the step forward. Um, they're seeing this as a risk. They want to. That's the thing. I mean, they, they do want to. With the Page of Pentacles and the Fool, I mean, this is showing um, that intention of wanting to take this step forward. But it's feeling risky. It's feeling scary to them. And because of that, they're holding back trying to protect themselves here. Of, of what might happen if they do reach out or if they do meet up with you or if they do take that next step whatever it is I mean for some of you this could even be about you know um, you know if, if you are together this could be about you know whether you, the two of you move in together and it's like there's a delay on that whatever it is you know um, yeah a fear of it being um, there's a fear of it being too impulsive or too rash of a decision, a fear of it being hurried. And you know, what am I going to get myself into here? Okay, let's see the two of swords in their consciousness. So this would be what they're thinking here. The ace of cups and the five of wands. Yeah, so they're in a battle here with themselves based off of, you know, this delay because this is where they feel true love, right? They feel this true love for you with the Ace of Cups. They feel those emotions. They feel those feelings very, very deeply. And they know that this is pure and genuine love. And so this is like bugging them. They're irritated by their own self for being in this stagnation here and for this waiting and for this um, procrastination. And so it's kind of like they're at conflict with their own self. Like about it but it's almost like almost like they can't help it kind of a thing they can't help but hold back because of that fear but that it troubles them it's like they're in disagreement with their own self let's see the devil the ace of wands and the seven of pentacles Okay, so it's going to be different for each of you, but um, I'm kind of getting that there may have been a relapse into something here. And it could be a substance abuse. It doesn't have to be. It just feels like a relapse. It could even be a relapse into um, another connection or into a fear even. Um, like just when they were getting over that and they were warming up here in the recent past, as I said, it's like a relapse into that fear or negative thinking or like, you know, negative what ifs, what if this and what if that, right? Which is fear, basically. Um, they are working on it. They are working on it slowly but surely here with that seven of pentacles. It's just also that, you know, whatever this relapse is, I feel like it's not it's not going to last. It's not going to be one of those things that actually brings about any positive results, right? It can't, it's the devil. The only positive result it can from this can be breaking away from it and learning from it. Okay, let's see this Five of Swords for their current energy towards you. The Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so it might feel like this person is actually moving away from you um, and taking action like in the opposite direction. Again, it feels like there's something here involving movement, taking a trip maybe, um, or maybe it is just about communication, but it feels like this person is turning their back to you and pretty much cutting you out, um, you know, maybe even ghosting you. Again, something here is, like I said, that is deceptive. It's not what it appears to be. There's something else that is going on here, right? And it's related to that, to that devil. But of course that doesn't mean you should, you know, accept this behavior or that it's excusable or anything like that. I'm not saying any of those things, um, just that this behavior, it is deceptive. Just for your own information. All right, let's see, King of Wands for you. 
I, I also must say, I, I feel like they do have clarity over this, all right? They do know that what they're doing is deceptive, okay? That's not something that is subconscious. <laughs> All right, so for the King of Wands, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Tower. Ooh, okay, Taurus. Or a person watching for a Taurus. <laughs> hmm. You have this power within you, all right? You do have this power within you and you are able to overcome all of this, but you're doubting yourself. You're doubting whether or not you actually can. Um, there's a part of you that's feeling trapped in this and that is very very like um, it's creating a lot of turmoil for you or like a dreadful kind of a Energy like okay, you know Like if this is never gonna happen or you know if I never get over this like that's just gonna be like It's it just feels like it might be the end of the world for you or that is just going to be something very very difficult to deal with What I'm getting here though spirit is saying because these cards are actually clarifying the King of Wands, that is our main energy. No, like you, you totally got this. This is something that you can overcome. Like whatever it is that is being thrown at you here, whatever it is that is happening, you're not trapped in this. You're not trapped in this. First of all, things aren't even the way that they appear to be, number one. Number two, even if they are, you're still not trapped in that. And I feel like, you know, um, just giving yourself some time and just being patient with your own self, that is going to help you to gradually stand in your power. But if you're constantly thinking, okay, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Like, that's not, that's not going to help. I'm feeling like you're just doomed. You know, allow yourself to feel that. It's okay, you know, for a little while. You have to feel what you feel. But then remember, no, you, you got this. Like... We never have to face anything that is more difficult than what we can handle. So just remember that. Let's see that Ten of Swords for their hopes and fears. The Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person does have a fear of having to face this loss if they don't take some action here. So I do feel like that's actually going to be a drive for them. It's going to be a motivating factor, that Ace of Swords, like actually it's the fear also um, of being alone, like not wanting that, knowing that that would be their outcome if they stay attached to this devil's energy, right? Holding on to that attachment or whatever that relapse is, um, repeating that again, like they're afraid that that's just going to be um, a very painful ending and that they're going to have to face a loss. I do get that this person is also regretting at the moment um, being, having, having brought about whatever result you're, the two of you are in at the moment, right? That procrastination, that delay, because like I said, you know, they're in disagreement with their own selves about what it is that they have done or what it is that they are doing. And so there's regret around that. And that also comes with that fear of, well, you know, th that's, how am I going to deal with this? So it's pretty painful. This fear is very strong. Um, but it's also what is making them feel like, all right, you know, that's why I got to do something. So let's see. Let's see that seven of wands. Ooh, we have justice. Okay, Libra energy and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so it does feel like they're actually putting up a fight. This is what this is. This is fighting against that devil's energy, right? Um, making that right decision and trying to find a new, fresh path. Wanting to get on a different path than the one that they have been on. So this is actually really, really um, positive here. It is a struggle for them. Like they, it, it actually takes a lot of effort and really having to put up a fight against those devil's energies, whatever they are, those fears, other connections, um, you know, some kind of an addiction, whatever it is. But they're doing it coming up here, all right? They're making that decision to really put themselves in a state of balance and taking a new path. All right, Taurus, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. <laughs> yeah. 
And I feel like, you know, that's actually what they're doing here with that Seven of Pentacles subconsciously, coming up with a practical plan, figuring it out, how to get away from this Devil's Energy so that it doesn't lead them to that Ten of Swords, that they are, that devastation, that loss, that they are so fearful of having to experience. So yeah, that is it. I thank you all so much for watching and much love.